Hi everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Marvelous Monday. I'm Leslie Watkins. So I hope everybody had a great weekend. We're still busy here putting away all of the things for winter, getting ready for the cold weather, although we've had this this warm spell, which doesn't really feel much like November, but it is nice to be outside and doing yard work and not not freezing. Um, there's still a lot of beautiful fall color out there, so I'm going to continue on my autumn theme. And today, what I thought I would do is to share with you how to make a cute portfolio that you could store some tags or um, it's a little bit small for cards so you wouldn't be able to put your full-sized four and a half or four and a quarter by five and a half cards in there but I've designed it specifically for tags and the reason why is because the Dandelion Paper Pals which is my private group that I created just for all my followers to be able to post their wonderful projects and to share what they're making and to participate in various activities. We had our very first tag swap and the theme of the tags was autumn and at the end of the video today I'm going to show you some of the tags that I got. I don't have all the tags of all the participants because we were just kind of getting our feet wet and um, and so we just traded up to three tags with three different people. So um, I don't have a lot to show you but I but I think we're going to expand on this idea um, maybe even in time for Christmas. So stay tuned for that. Meantime, if you're interested in the Dandelion Paper Pals group and you'd like to join in, you're welcome to do that. All you have to do is leave a comment and uh, go to the Dandelion Paper Pal. Just type that in the search bar for Facebook. It'll come up and, um, and I will see your name and I will let you into the group and we'd love to have you. So, um... As I was saying, I want to create a kind of a little portfolio to put the tags in. So I've got a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. This is Cajun Craze, and I've already scored it. So the score lines are at four and a half. I'm sorry, that's four and a quarter four and a half, eight and three quarters, and nine. And then I turned it and I scored it at eight and eight and a quarter. Okay, I'm just double checking. Yeah, so this is 12 by 12. So those are the measurements. So you have something that looks like this. Now I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm going to make a couple of cuts on here. So I'm just going to go straight up. Actually, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going just to the left of the score line so I can cut that away. And I'm going to go to the second score line. Okay, so I'm not stopping there. I'm continuing on to the second. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to cut to the right. Of the score line. Okay, so I'm cutting those, those scores away. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now I haven't fully designed this yet, so we're going to um, we're going to see where this takes me as we go along. Because a lot of the tags 
have many different layers to them. I created a spine so that there's plenty of room. You can see there's plenty of room for some thick tags in there. All right, so now we don't need these little strips. So I'm just going to snip those away. Get my little scissors out for this. There we go. All right, so you end up with something that looks like this. It's going to close like that. But this piece, I'm not sure. I left it on there because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it for a pocket or not. So I'm going to I'm going to just think about that for a minute. I think for simplicity's sake today, I'm going to take it away. So again, on the score line that is second from the bottom, I'm just going to remove that little flap and I may be able to use this as a scrap later. All right, so there it is. And I have a hole punch here. This one is a one inch hole punch and I'm just going to line this up in the middle and just create a little thumb hole there. A little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. So there are my pockets, and all I'm going to do, now let's see, did I do this? Maybe I didn't do this right. Oh no, that'll work. Okay, we're good, we're good. Now all I'm going to do is put glue on one side. Like so. Line that up. I want to keep that nice and, and straight along the edge here. Same thing on this side. Just holding that for a moment for that glue to set up. Okay, so that's the basic portfolio. Now we get to decorate. Now, in one of the tags that I received today, and I just want to jump ahead to the swap for a minute. This is, this is a tag that came from Cheryl, and she packaged it up in this envelope with this beautiful piece of stamped paper that she created, and she just tucked it in there to help protect the tag, I think. But it was so pretty, I wanted to use it on my portfolio today. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. And let's see. This is going to be cut down to about... My, grab my piece here. All right, so this mat 
is seven and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this to seven and a half. I'm going to save that little scrap because it's so pretty. All right, so now Cheryl's leaf stamping, I believe, is old olive, um, crushed curry, and pumpkin pie. And I'm going to just modify it a little bit so that it matches my color scheme. I hope you don't mind, Cheryl. And, um, and to do that, I've got some inks out. So I have my, I have Cajun Craze. I have Delightful Dijon. Some of you may remember this color. I love this color for fall. In fact, it was one of my most favorite colors. It's uh, long since retired. And I also have Mango Metal Melody. And I'm going to get some sponges out. Let's see what I've got here. I don't have a, I'm going to use the, um, the sponge for both of these, Mango Melody and for the Delightful Dijon. So I'm going to start with the Mango Melody, and I'm just going to very lightly knock back some of this white background and warm it up a little bit. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to use my delightful Dijon and I'm going to come around the edges. It's a little bit darker. And you can use your um, dauber or your blending brushes. The blending brushes would be great for this. All right, there we go. So that's starting to look a little bit more like my color palette now. And then finally, I'm going to use my Cajun Craze and I'm just going to go around the edges. go. Now I'm going to, I just want to check my settings, make sure that everybody can hear me and see me. Well, let's see. There we go. And there's Beverly and Teresa. Good morning, Teresa. Becky, you made it, and uh, Beverly says, I decided to make tags as a gift to friends and family. Oh, cool, after the Dandelion Paper Pals exchange. It was so much fun to participate. Well, thank you so much for participating, Beverly. Make sure that you post your tag in the, um, in the place where we can all see it, because um, next time we'll do a bigger swap where where hopefully everybody will get one of each tag. But for the people that didn't see your tag this time, it would be nice to see what you made. All right, so now I'm not quite done with this. I'm going to grab this um, gold ink that I have. 
because I want a little bit of added sparkle. And I'm just going to spatter some of this ink all over. Yeah, tags are a lot of fun. Um, they just, I mean, you can, you could basically do the same sort of treatments to your cards as well, but there's something about tags that uh, lends itself to a variety of different media. So, you know, whether it's embroidery or fabric or, um, you know, all kinds of collage and die cuts, whatever it is that you like. All right, so there is my spatter, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flip this over to blot it, so that dries a little bit faster. And I don't care that it's a little smudged; that's okay. Gold looks good, smudged or not. All right, now back to my. portfolio here. I have some panels that I've cut out in the delightful Dijon. My cover is going to look something like this. I'm going to go ahead and get that layered up. Nice and straight. Okay. There we go. And I have some other pieces. So um, I've got a goodie bag with a bunch of leftovers of all sorts of autumn themed things that I've done. I've even got some of this beautiful, oh, I like that. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to add my, this is the, this is the gold glimmer paper, and this is a uh, piece that's been die cut with the deckled rectangle dies, which I love. If you don't, if you don't have the deckled rectangle dies. Check them out. I think they're really a must-have. They're beautiful. They're very, they come in uh, all different shapes and sizes. I'm just going to get this mounted on my card, something like that. All right, and then I also have I went into the archives and I stamped and cut out some of these beautiful old vintage leaves. This is also a retired set, but I'm going, this is going to be a scrap busting tag portfolio. So I'm just using everything that I have in my stash here. What I think I want to do is I want to put that beautiful oak leaf. Let me zoom you in so you can see that a little bit better. So this is this has been uh, stamped and heat embossed with gold, and I think I used. Um, it's hard to tell. I think I, I think I used the delightful Dijon cardstock, and then I sponged it with the Cajun craze. So I'm going to glue that down right to the center of my gold label here. And 
and I'm going I'm going to blot this a little bit to take off the excess glue because I don't want that getting on my gold paper. There we go. Now I also have these um, these little leaves that I stamped on the back. So the back of the leaf says so grateful and because this is an expression of gratitude from me to all of the wonderful designers who participated in this tag swap. I'm going to put this right on the cover and I'm going to use a um, piece of my my linen thread. And let's see. What I think I'll do is I'm going to loop this through my tag first. Bring that over the stem. All right, there's my little tag. But now I need something to tie it onto. So for that, I'm going to grab, let's see, is this long enough? Mm, I might be able to just make it. Okay, I'm going to use up every little scrap here. I've got my piercing mat out, and I'm going to pierce a hole on either side of my oak leaf. And then I'm going to just stitch through there. But let's see, how can I do this? I'm going to take one of the strings from my tag and I'm going to hold it in place because I'm going to stitch around that. Let's see if I can do this on camera. I'm going to go around three times. There we go. All right, now tie that off. Oops, I lost my tail. Okay, I'm going to have to bring it through the back. A little bit too short. Well, actually, you know what? I'll bring it through the front this way. See if I can get that through there. Ooh, just maybe. I didn't leave myself enough tail here. I hope I'm not getting my head in the camera. There we go. All right. So I'm just pull my tag out of the way a little bit. I'm going to tie this in a double knot. There we go. And then snip off the excess. Okay, so now what I've done, you see what I did there, was I made a little loop around my oak leaf. And then I slipped the tail of my little tag through there. And I'm going to let that just hang loose. And I'll tie this in a knot. Actually, I think I'll tie it in this kind of a knot. And just let that hang. Make sure I've got that nice and tight.
All right, so there, there's my little grateful tag. Get a little too close here. Let me zoom out a touch. There we go. All right, so that's how that's looking so far. And I've got some other bits and pieces here. Well, we'll get back to that in a minute. Meantime, on the back of my portfolio, I'm going to attach my ribbon. And for that, I'm using my double stick. Tear and tape. And I'm just looking to see where I want that ribbon to go. And I think I want it to go low so that it's underneath my hanging tag here. So I'm going to put it right there. Now it just so happens I also have some of this beautiful, delightful Dijon ribbon left in my stash, so I'm going to use a length of that. I want to be sure I've got plenty of ribbon to be able to tie my bow. So I'm just going to judge that by wrapping it around loosely. Stick that into place. And that should be plenty. Okay, now I've got another panel, again the delightful Dijon that I'm going to attach to the back of my portfolio, and that's just going to help hold that ribbon securely. Okay. Okay, so that's the back. The front's going to be like this, but I've also got these inside pockets that I can add a little something. So for that, I've got a couple of pieces of the delightful Dijon. I glue those down. So what what happens here is that as as I add all these layers, my portfolio gets stronger and stronger and stiffer and stiffer. So it's going to provide more protection to the tags that I have inside. So don't be afraid to put on a few additional layers of cardstock. those lined up. There we go. Now I do have, I have this little label that I made and this is Cajun Craze and I've embossed it with the gold heat embossing and it says uh, with love. And I think what I want to do is put that right in the middle here. And glue that into place. Get that 
centered. I'm just about done here. And let's see, do I want to put another leaf? I like that there. I'm going to take this maple leaf and add that to the other flap. Okay, and then this flap just helps to protect the edge of the folio so that um, the tags can't stick out or get bumped by anything. All right, so that is the inside. Now I'm going to hold off on gluing down my cover piece because I want to do a little bit of stitching on my machine stitching around the edges so I'm not going to do that on while you're waiting on camera but I can show you what this looks like so far so there we go there's the, the portfolio so far And now what I want to do is I want to share some of the tags that came in the swap. So let's get those out. Let's see, who's anybody else here that was in the swap? Here's Kit. Hi, Kit. Kit, welcome to the team. I'm so glad to have you a part of the, te of the team. And uh, Kelly's here. We've got Carol. Sandra made it. Awesome. Okay, so we've got quite a few people and it looks like there's a lot of dandelion paper pals here as well. So I'm really happy to see you all. Let me show you some of the tags that I got. So I'm going to go back to uh, Cheryl's tag here. Make a little bit of room. And she even stamped the envelope. Okay, so everything is, is decorated with Cheryl's tag, and she made this beautiful little envelope or pocket to hold her tag. She uses this uh, designer series paper with the rustic whitewashed wood, and you just pull that out and look at this beautiful tag. This is um, also features this wonderful braided trim, this, this linen trim. I forget the name of it, but I've got a bunch of this. This was on the, um, the clearance rack last year, and I got a lot of it. I love that, that, um, that trim. And she's got a, um, a beautiful dye or 3D embossed background with the brick design that she's done a little bit of sponging on. And then she's got this wonderful pumpkin. I should also mention, by the way, one of the criteria for this swap was that you use stamping up stamps and dies, but it was okay to use retired things. So you may see some items here that don't look familiar to you because they are retired. But she's used also these beautiful twigs and sprigs which was that hybrid 3D embossing as well as die cutting for the background. So that's just beautiful, Cheryl. Thank you so much. She's got the, um, I think these are the autumn gems. So I can take Cheryl's beautiful tag and tuck that into my tag portfolio. Oh, wait. Let me get it back into its pocket first. We don't want to lose the pocket. 
get that in there without bending that get in there there we go all right let's see who's next here oh this is um teresa from florida and look at all the beautiful stamps she put on the outside of the envelope as well as doing this this is a great corner stamp i have this i don't use it enough i need to get that out so let's see what's in here We ask that everybody put your tag inside of a clear envelope to protect it. Oh, this is beautiful. So this this tag is heavy. She's she's doubled up all the layers. So basically it's um, four layers of cardstock here. And she's also got this gorgeous, I don't know, I think it's a pewter charm or button that she's used to decorate the top of the tag, really beautiful. And then two tones of the Baker twine. This is that wonderful Daffodil Delight Roost Ribbon, another retired item, I love that ribbon. And it says a paper hug. And then she's got this beautifully painted, let's see, it looks like she painted it. Um, it could be blends, but it looks like she uh, painted with either watercolor or ink. I think this flower is from the Happiness Abounds set. And then inside, look at look how beautiful this is. She's got this all stamped up with, um, I think this is very Versailles. I could be wrong on the stamp set here, but it looks to me, or reminds me of the very Versailles which is one of my all-time favorites. And I love that she used the, the tag punch for the, for the two tags, but she used two different corners so that they're different. And, they, and then she layered them up so you can really see that detail and all of the stitching around the tag. So that is just stunning. Thank you so much, Teresa. That's a beauty. So let's tuck this in. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the outs, outside flap just tuck around there. So there's two. And, oh, here's, here's a tag from Baton Rouge. And Teresa, I'm pretty sure you're on here. Yes, you are. So Teresa, this is your tag. This is another Teresa. Oh, look at this beautiful ribbon. Okay, so she's got this beautiful soft tag. Look at this gorgeous sheer ribbon that she's using. She's got a beautiful butterfly. I think this is from uh, Positive Thoughts, another one of my most favorite um, stamp sets and, and dies. It comes with, with dies as well. And what she's done is she's cut the butterfly out twice and then she sandwiched the ribbon in between the butterfly, which is so clever and so lovely. And, oh, there's some goodies on the inside here. So let's see. She, she's, got, she's titled this tag. It's called Fall's Last Flower. And, um, and then she's put the Dandelion Paper Pals tag swap, which is so sweet. And she's used this beautiful little label die with the decorative edging. Thank you so much, Teresa. And then she's added another little flower here that um, I, I don't remember what texture background she's using, but it's very pretty. And she's got that uh, honeybee tr trinket attached. And this is vellum. I love that she's using vellum with her tag plus the die cut, and um, I think this is that Harvest set, and I don't remember the full name of it, um, but very, very pretty. Thank you so much, Teresa. I'm going to tuck all these goodies back in. Oh, let's not forget about the back. Look what she's done to the back. It's beautiful. All sorts of goodies here. I'm just going to tuck those back in there. 
All right, so those are my, those are the three people that I swapped tags with. And let me get this out of the way. I also have one of my own tags. So this was, a, this was a tag that I designed and it features that soft seedlings stamp set. And I um, stamped that on the linen paper and stitched that around the edges using the metallic thread. And I fussy cut these little um, heat embossed seedlings like so. And then for my ribbon here, I used some sari silk that I thought looked really pretty with the delightful Dijon. And again, there's a, a little leaf tag that's hanging down from the outside. And then inside the tag, which is actually a pocket, is a second tag. And this one says, so grateful. All right, and there's that um, twigs and sprigs 3D embossing folder with some of the brushed metallic dots. So I'll tuck that into my portfolio. And now last but not least, I got a surprise tag. And this tag comes from my upline, Julia. Julia, thank you so much. This tag is gorgeous. And she, um, she included a note and she says, um, thank you for all you do and, uh, and signs it Julia. And this is, this is so cute because what she's done is she's created a pocket on the front of the tag with the thank you embossing folder. And then this little maple leaf comes out. She's got the washi tape, but look at this. Can you see this beautiful little maple leaf charm that she's attached to the top? So pretty. And when you flip the tag over on the back, you've got two more pockets with a couple of tiny tags. And, um, and if you look very closely at this one, there's a precious little acorn. Where, where am I? Let me get you on camera here. Sorry. <laughs> okay. There we go. There's a precious little acorn charm next to this beautiful cut out oak leaf. So just lovely. So you see you've got the uh, diagonal pocket there and another one there. All right. So let me get my tag portfolio back. And add Julia's tag. You can slip that right in there. Let's turn it around this way. There's so many embellishments on these tags. So there they are. There's my collection of tags from the first ever Dandelion Paper Pal Tag Swap. Okay, so there they are inside the portfolio. And this is going to close up just like this. Get my butterfly in there. And you can see it's bulging, but the, um, the spines are allowing for all those many layers and embellishments to fit in there. Now, of course, you could, you could make it even bigger by increasing the spine. But here's my cover. And this is going to tie around like this. And as soon as I get off the video today, I'm going to go ahead and stitch around here and glue it down. And then in the thumbnail, you'll see how the stitching looks on the cover of my portfolio. So there it is. Thank you so much, everybody, for participating in the tag swap. It was huge fun. And judging by what everybody says, I think everybody really enjoyed it. And special thank you to Ginger, our tag swap director, who did such a good job of organizing everybody and keeping us all on the same page. Thank you so much, Ginger. We really appreciate it.
So that's what I've got for you today, folks. Um, the only other thing I want to mention is that today is the last day to get your uh, card kit for the uh, this week's, I think it's number eight, 12 weeks of Christmas. So if you're interested in that kit, please make sure that you um, uh, get your place your order before um, midnight tonight. I will, I will have all that information down below in the description of the video if you want to learn about the 12 weeks of Christmas. And as a special little preview, we're going to have a, um, a treat box next week. And I'm going to be using the Design a Treat Box uh, dies and stamp set. So here's, here's an example of one of the little treat boxes that I made using that. So stay tuned for that. The classes are absolutely free, but you do have to register to get into the private classroom. So um, find that registration link right here on the Facebook page, and I'll also put that in the description below. So I'm going to check real fast, see if anybody has anything they want to add over here. And um, oh, Julia, you made it. Hey, <laughs> well, you're going to have to go back and, and watch the replay because I was talking about you. So I'm glad you were able to join us. Um, yeah, so there's quite a lot of people there. Here's Charlotte. Thank you for joining us, Charlotte. Good to see you. All right, everybody. Thanks again for participating. It was a lot of fun. And Ginger and I are going to be talking about um, maybe putting together a Christmas tag swap coming right up. So uh, if you're not already a Dandelion Paper Pal, make sure that you get into the group so that you can find out all about it. So stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you next time right here on Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time for Watercolor Wednesday.